All right. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers. We're back again, baby. We back a motherfucking gun. Playing Pokemon. Oh my god. So, there's no one playing League. We don't have to play League anymore because we got all the tokens we needed for the prestige points. We did the Fortnite bullshit. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of our short, silent night until work hell tomorrow with some Pokemon. So last we left off, we were at the nuclear plant. Shit's going haywire just exactly as I predicted. I'm so good at predictions. I have my din, din here and hopefully we'll have a great, lovely time. open this what do we even call this this um container there we go this container of cheese to put on my pasta real quick let me see because i've apparently had this for a while and i forgot about it so hopefully it's still good but let's see uh, okay oh oh it certainly smells uh pungent here let's try some Eating stream real quick, guys. Don't worry. For those of you on the YouTube, uh, mukbang. There we go. We're doing a mukbang, baby. I also would like to point out that Adrian always said he would watch every stream of me doing Pokemon within reason, right? If he could make it, obviously. If he wasn't out with family or whatever. And he's the one who probably watches the Pokemon streams, I think, the least. He's in here a good amount of times, but you know, not as often as he said. Mm. I'm be honest. The package says Romano. I don't know if this should taste like Romano cheese, honestly. Hunter, what the fuck? <laughs> are you saying that to me? Or are you saying that to other people who are hearing me, like, eat? Do you want them to clap their ass to me eating? Mm. Mm -mm. Awful. The cheese isn't that bad. Oh, you're a DJ? Oh, okay. Anyway, let's talk to the professor. Let's talk to everyone else. This island is crawling with nuclear Pokemon, huge cock. You know what to do. Yeah, kill him. Go and show them who's boss of this gym. Oh, is this my dad's hot assistant that he's secretly fucking because my mom died? My fellow rangers need help defeating the nuclear Pokemon on the island. If you see anyone in trouble, lend them a hand. And we got Nurse Hot Sexy Joy here. I'm here to help restore injured Pokemon's health. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Sure, why not? I think they're full health anyway, but... I'm also noticing the rain's not hitting the full screen. Okay, so anyway, we actually... Oh, this might be bad. So, Longshlong doesn't do good here, because he's nuclear type. So, we actually might need to use Sex Offend. So, let's give Sex Offend a item to help him out. Um... What was the stupid thing that let me do, like, more flying attack bullshit? What was that? It's definitely not the repels, I'll tell you that. Oh, we need to fucking do this shit too. Gold fossil. Ugh. Excuse me, my goodness. Okay. Drilgonite, Gyaradosite, Pretty Ribbon, Ice Shard, uh, Razor Fang, Charcoals for Dillo, Sharp Beak. Here it is, Sharp Beak. Easy. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Is this a bench? What is this? Oh, that guy needs help. Don't worry, sir. I'll help you. No! My partner Pokemon fainted! Ugh! Now I'm defenseless. Help, huge cock! Save me! Yeah, I got you, boy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe we should worry. There's two of them. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, fuck. Yo, that he's shouting looks kind of crazy, honestly. You know, honestly, wait. Let me, uh... Oh, should I use Swift? Let, let's just use Swift. Let's Swift them both. I think Long Shlong and Sex Offend both using Swift will, like, work. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna work. Easy. The wild Chupapi Munenyo fainted. Bro, the shit's actually level like 50s here now. Oh my god, this is bad. Easy. Easy! Easy sex up head! Auntie grew to 26. Yeah, I can't wait till Auntie evolves. Yeah, now say thank you, give me money. Phew! Thanks, huge cock. I thought I was a goner. I've got to go get my Pokemon healed. Good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Oh, this lightning's going crazy. Yo, the rain really doesn't hit the side. Oh my god. Hey, huge cock. These nuclear freaks of nature are no match for my Pokemon. Hey, here comes two of them now. How about you and me and team up and show them what we're made of? Yo, I hope I can catch that Gyarados. Oh my god. Yo, imagine I could Mega Evolve the fucking Gyarados? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Watch this. Watch this. The, the Spetsnaz are about to siege the capital of Ukraine. Some help Biden gave our ally. I mean, Biden's in a tough spot, right? So think about this. Biden can't interfere officially because Ukraine wasn't part of NATO. So this technically is two foreign affairs that... The United States is not specifically, I think, allied with, so they can't really help, right? It's like this. It's like, imagine if Texas and New Mexico got into a fight, right? Like, let's say Texas, it being what it is, was like, yo, you know, 10 gallon hat, huh, huh, where, you know, Texas, we're gonna take you over, New Mexico. And they try and fight New Mexico and take them over as a state, and then for some reason, that causes China to declare world war on us. Like, like what? What does China have to do with this? It's the same thing here. Kind of. Kind of, but not really. It's like, what the fuck does two entities right next to each other fighting, even though it's really like one little guy and one big bully, what do they fight, or them fighting has to do with the United States? Of course, the United States has its hand in everything. And I secretly think, because Biden said they're not going to let them, they're not going to send troops, even if it is like sieged and taken over. But what they will send is support, AKA guns and, you know, munitions and stuff. So they'll be underground, like, I guess splinter groups of Ukraine that will undermine the government if Russia puts one there. That's what I think is gonna happen. They said, if you let them in, we're gonna tweak. So <laughs> we always appease Donnie is friends with him. Yeah, Donnie's telling him to do it. Bro, Donnie is telling him good job. Excuse me. Okay, so... I'm just gonna use the Pokeball here. Where's the Quick Ball? It is lagging, yo. What the fuck? Here we go. It's impossible to aim when there are two Pokemon. Okay, you know what that means? That means we gotta aim. Wait, does it hit both of them? Oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked up, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't fuck up. Let's go. Let's go. Yes! And he targeted the right one. Yes! Yes! This is great. Like, Vla chill. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that was on me. Oh, shit. Damn, that most killed Long Shlong, too. Alright, let's pray to God that this Pokeball catches it. If it doesn't catch it, then... Then Theo's Pokemon's gonna kill it. Oh, please. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Name it Vishal. Nah, I already have a Pokemon called Auntie. The atrocious Pokemon it is an extremely vicious and violent Pokemon, just like Vishal. When humans begin to fight, it will appear and burn everything to the gr wait what? And burn everything to the ground with intensely hot flames. How the fuck does Gyarados do that? <laughs> okay. Let's think. Oh my god, it's a female too! It's a female too! Oh my god, I want to name it something, but if I ever get big, this will undoubtedly be used against me. Like, 100% what I was going to name it will undoubtedly be used, to get me, used against me. 
It hyperbeams the village. But it says it intensely hot flames. Hyperbeam isn't a flame, it's just energy. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll name it Auntie Dose. Easy. Easy. Good going, huge cock! You and me, we make a great team, don't you think? Yo, fucking Theo really grew up, man. Let me save. I want to save that Gyarados, so let me save the game. Geiger dose. That was a clever one, but not sexual enough. Not nearly sexual enough, Hunt. Oh my god, that snake is biting the fuck out of my dad's face. Okay, so- Oh, the Suki clan! Okay, so before we go into there and, like, help my dad, let's, uh... Tell Auntie you named the Gyarados after him? Oh, don't worry, I will. I'm surprised he's not in here. He said he was done with Overwatch, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing right now. If he's quote-unquote done with Overwatch, he shouldn't be playing games. He might be sleeping, but, you know, who knows. Oh, there's a berry there. Okay, let's help this guy. Back! Back! Taste the steel of my blade! Oh my god, he's literally trying to cut it. Hey, you, mind giving me a little help over here? They're too tough for me to handle alone. Oh, don't worry, I got you, boy. After I take this. half lead berries. Half-Life? Half-Life 2? Half-Life 3? Hello, Hugecock, this is Dovac. How are things? Well, wouldn't you like, like to know, Dovac? Things are shit right now, both in real life for me and in this game. Go help your dad first. Nah, no, fuck my dad, he could handle it. He wants to leave for 10 years of my life? He could handle the Pokemon. Let's have a battle. I want to see how much you've grown. I'm still hanging around Route 13. My Turlard. Bro, I can whoop the shit out of his Turlard. Alright, let's kill this Tancoon. Oh, what the fuck? It wasn't a Tancoon. It was a Tropint. Alright, let's kill this Tropint. I should have sent out fucking... I, I really need to put a Sex Offend first. I don't know why I'm not crazy. Wow, that did like no damage. Ah, shit. Hyper voice easy. Fuck this guy. Oh, come on, man. This guy's cool. Alright. Let's actually get Sex Offend in. We're gonna need a secondary carry regardless, so... We're getting Sex Offend. Alright, give me something. Ha! Coward before my ninja technique! Ninja cheerleading! Way to go, huge cock. You're the best. Man, I wish that was true. Best Reggie cry? I would need to hear them and compare them. I actually don't remember them. It's been too long. Like, like I remember when it was like, but like imagine that more mechanized. It was like, it was like that kind of. Right, let's explore around some more. Let's see. Is there anything here? Oh my god! Oh, it's the princess. Huff! These Pokemon, they never tire. My love. You must remain resolute. We shall defeat this evil with the power of the gods. My husband has grown weary. Yeah, because he's a cuck. I last longer. And yet these Pokemon do not stop. We may be avatars, but we are also mere mortals. Huge cock, please help us. Oh, shit. Damn, I just won the battle. Oh, my God. It's a fucking Luchabra. All right, well, these things are about to get fucked up. Watch this. Swifty and Swifty. Easy. The anime cries? Nah, oh, come on. Use the game cries. The game cries are so much better. Hero Gasm is going to be the boys season three. Let's fuck. Bro, him coming down and saying that was so funny. Let's fuck. <laughs> like he's like so heroic and so like cool looking, and that's what comes out of his fucking ugly, disgusting mouth. Let's fuck. <laughs> it's like an action figure. I believe I can go on, my love. The gods lend us their strength. The gods? I just saved your asses. The fuck you talk about the gods? Fucking pussies, bro. Homelander gay sex. Oh my god. Hey, yo, what the fuck happened here? Huge cock. Thank Arceus you're here. You're goddamn right. These nuclear Pokemon are relentless. Whatever it takes, we have to keep them from getting inside. It looks like they could just turn around and get inside. Wait, what the fuck? That's strange, they've stopped attacking. I've never seen them act like this before. 
What's happening? I've got a fat, bad feeling about this. Legendary? Legendary? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What was that? Something's inside the planet. It looks like it just teleported in. But how? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, shit! What the fuck? Huge cock! Get down! Oh. I like how half the screen... Oh. What the fuck? That guy on the left looks like a butterfly. Is that my mom? It's my mom. It's my mom. I'm saying it. I'm saying it right now. It's my mom. Guaranteed. It's my mom. And then this thing is the experiment that they wanted to terminate, but they didn't. Holy shit, this is easy. It's gone. The uranium is gone. Where is it? You stop right where you are. Oh my god, look at it. It's fat. As chief of the Tandor Rangers, I order you to freeze. They look like a fucking Power Ranger, bruh. Why do people say Arceus instead of Arceus? I don't know. Different pronunciations. Oh. Identify yourself or we'll attack. You know why she's not identifying herself? Because she's my mom. Easy. We are Curie. We are Urain. Urani. So Curie is the... The German scientist, I believe, who found out a lot of stuff about radiation. I have no clue what Urani is. Uh, excuse me. Stand aside or face oblivion. Ranger Cadet, you, you're the one that's been attacking the power plants. You're under arrest. This guy's gonna die. Perhaps you misheard us. Now you shall suffer. Nah. Kainista. Okay, anyway. Urani, use Half-Life. Gah! Yo, he just gave him cancer. She has radiation poisoning. We have to get her out of here. You weak, pathetic fools. Can you not see the power we control? There is no way you can... Yo, she really just radiated him. There's no way you can hope to win. Surrender or be obliterated. Oh, shit. The nuclear Pokemon. Is that thing giving them commands? Yo, it's a hive mind, bro. They've got us surrounded. We can't escape. But we can fight. All of us, all that oppose us will be raised to the ground. Now heed our demands or else all of you shall perish. I, yo, I like this villain. This is reminding me of some Cyrus vibes. Where's all roads lead to the farm? Yo, he made it to the farm. He's working. He's working on the farm right now. Oh, that's the fucking... That's the cry of the Pokemon? Holy shit. Ugh, I can't let my rangers die. Oh. What is it that you want? Yo, she's killing my dad. We require more enriched uranium fuel. Bruh, this is so obvious. It's my mom and the stupid science experiment. Is that why you attack the power plants to steal the nuclear fuel yes our power far exceeds any that would oppose us yeah right we will crush them without mercy you you've destroyed the environment and endangered the lives of people and pokemon you won't get away with this i'll take you down by myself if i have to oh damn my dad's going crazy how amusing. It isn't even a trainer, and yet it would oppose us. Such arrogance. For this, it will be annihilated in an instant. Urani! Atomic punch! Oh shit. Huge cock. If I don't make it, you have to stop this. Curie, no matter what, we will not let them defeat us! Oh, what the fuck? Stand down, Curie! This ends now! You! Impossible! Oh, that's the legendary we got. That's like the little bird. That's Auntie. Impossible. We thought we killed you. You thought wrong. Now you're too late. Damn, it's Cameron- or it's, uh... Theo's dad. Now you are too late. I had the uranium removed from this power plant. You'll never find it. I have been watching you in secret. I figured out your weakness. Yo, so Cameron was good all along. Oh, shit. Without fuel, you have no power. Oh, shit. Nyaaah. 
this was all a trap for you, and you walked right into it. Yo, you finally played Zoe, James? Yo, you should have seen her in her heyday. She was a cancer. She was a cancer to League, bruh. Now nah, you will pay for your crimes against Tandor. I can't believe it. Cameron? He was the one who gave us the tip? Dad! Oh wait, Theo's not young anymore. Dad! Dad is alive! You might have the power of a legendary Pokemon on your side, but that doesn't mean you will win. That champ is hard, yeah, she kind of is now. I have been watching you. I know your limits. When I defeat Uraini, it will go dormant. After that, you will be powerless. Fuh, fuh, fuh. Powerless, are we? You forget, we have an infinite army of nuclear slaves at our beck and call. You stand no chance against all of us for your insolence. Following us, frustrating our plans, giving us blue balls. You will be destroyed. This is Pokemon, James. This is us finding the culprit of, of the games. This is them getting caught red-handed. Dad's in trouble. Come on, huge cock. We gotta help him. Wait, you know what I just realized? We didn't get the Master Ball yet. My dad's the one right in the middle here. Kellen. Theo, wait. Dad, we're going to help you. I'm not gonna let you disappear on me again. Yeah, he really did the dip like my dad did. Theo, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous. You have to leave. Yo, he really missed out on his son growing up. Curie won't hesitate to kill you, aka my mom. This boy, he is important to you? Yes. His pain will cause you great suffering. <laughs> this shit is so cringy. <laughs> Therefore, we will kill him right before your eyes. No! Theo! Hmm, sentimental fool. Yo, if they kill Theo, I'm gonna be so happy. Mordecai's old quote, oh yeah. You have now paid the price. Let this be a lesson for the rest- Wait, did Theo die? Wait, what happened? Wait, no, nothing happened. What the fuck? Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Should you try and cross us again, an agonizing death awaits you. I will bring great suffering. The uranium fuel we seek is gone. No matter, we shall locate it wherever it hides. This is but a minor setback. Soon we will have what we need. Yeah, but what do you want? And when we do, all of you fools shall pay. Uranium Quantum Leap! What the fuck? They just poured it out of here. Dad, you saved me. Wait, did he tank the hit? That attack was going to kill me. Damn, I didn't even see it. I actually missed it. But you, you jumped in at the last second. Dad, I finally find out you're alive and... Now he, uh, yo, he really just entered. Is he, you know... Is he alive? Oh. He's still alive! Quick! We have to get him to a hospital! Oh shit. Cameron. Cameron's Yat Yatagaryu. They are said to be among the swiftest flyers in Tandor. Will you help us take him to safety? Yeah, I'm about to have that too later on. Quick, Rangers! There's no time to waste! We have to get to the. Oh no, my dad's also poisoned. Yo, he's coughing up blood! Kellen, you're hurt! I'll be fine. Get to the Ranger HQ in Bale Beach City. Yo, that's fucked up, James. We have to move fast. Cameron's condition is critical. Now quickly! Oh, shit! We have to go, too. My dad's life is on the line. I like how the professor's here literally doing nothing. Huge cock, your dad didn't look so good either. Watch my dad live and his dad die. I think he was affected by radiation. How were we not? I don't really know what just happened or who that scary person is, which is my mom, and that weird Pokemon were, but we gotta find out. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, we should definitely follow them to Bale Beach City. I'm sure the Rangers can explain some more about this Curie person. You two can both fly there, right? Oh, here we go. Now we're gonna get fly, thank God. Oh, wait. Don't tell me I forgot to give you both the fly HM. What a shithead. Well, this is awkward. You mean you had it this entire time? Jeez, I had to walk and surf everywhere. Yo, I... Oh my god, this is exactly what I had to fucking do, bruh. 
This is exactly what I had to fucking do. What the fuck? I went. You must be losing it in your old age, Pops. Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh, I'm not that old. Here you go. Finally. Oh my god, we finally have Fly. Sweet. I'll teach this to my Pokemon and be in Bale Beach as quick as a Thunderbolt. Zap. Wow. He always has so much energy, but his father is alive, so I can't fault him for feeling excited. Yeah, not for long. He probably has cancer. But who would have expected to see Cameron again after all this time? Yeah, and who expected him to have a legendary bird? And why was he hiding in the first place? This whole thing is very strange. Well, huge cock, I'd be happy to give you a lift to Bell Beach on my page uh, on my page. I think the Ragers can handle the rest of the nuclear Pokemon here easy. All things considered, we managed to prevent another meltdown, so this part of the Tandor should be safe for now. Can I go in the plant though? We should hurry to headquarters. Hop on, huge cock. Listen, Hunt, that's what I say too, but according to this game, they're legendaries, so... Yeah, yeah, honestly, they really are pseudos. Huge cock, Professor, you're just in time. Kellen and Cameron are upstairs in the ICU. Kellen specifically asked for you both. I think you ought to go see him. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Is it over? Huge cock, we should go upstairs to check on your father, Kellen. Yeah, no fucking duh. I love this Ranger music. Oh, it repels effects wore off. That's fine. Let me in! That's my fucking father, you bitch! Oh, it's Huge Cock and Professor Bambo. Good timing. Kellen is awake and has been asking for you. Please follow me. Oh, shit. Yo, looking fucking Theo's dad! Yo, he's fucked! Owen had like three and a half? Yeah, Owen was shit too. Huge Cock, is that you? No, you dumb bitch. And Theo and Professor Bambo too. I'm glad you're all here. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Kellen? I'm fine. My exposure wasn't all that bad. <laughs> Please, try not to overexert yourself. Oh, that's a guy. Try not to overexert yourself. Some radioactive air has entered your lungs. Oh my god. Wait, those aren't pseudos. What? Salamence, Metagross, Agron, and Flygot are not pseudos. Are you crazy? You need to keep your heart rate down. How can I remain calm when citizens and Pokemon are in danger? What a simp. Cough, cough. Listen, now that we know some more about what we're up against, I've come up with a plan. Damn, even in bed he's not relaxing. I'm now positive that this Curie person is the cause of all the meltdowns. Yeah, no fucking dumb. If we can take down Curie, then the power plants will be safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, that requires us to find where Curie's hiding. You want me to take a wild guess? Watch this. Curie is probably in the one power plant we haven't been to yet, which is uh, right across from Bale Beach. I forgot if it was like Theta or Zeta or whatever the fuck, but it's the one across from Bale Beach. Yeah, listen, hun. I don't go by legendaries by the, by the fucking uh, base stats or whatever. I go with the legendaries if they have... Um, like, if there's, like, a couple of them in the world, lore-wise, like, how important they are. Or if you can only get one of them. Like, Heat Ran is a legendary, even though I think there's multiple Heat Rans. Entei's a legendary, even though there's multiple Entei's, I believe. And, you know, same with Suicune and whatever. And then, what else is, like, there multiple of? I think there's multiple Shamans. Like, Shaman is a pseudo. Manaphy, I think, is a pseudo. Fion is definitely a pseudo. If at all. Like, bruh, legendaries to me are, like, exclusive and, like, don't usually evolve. And there's, like, only one of them. Or a few of them. <laughs> you think Brock is a legendary? Come on, James. But anyway, let's see. Fortunately, Cameron has been helpful on that front. Dad, but he's been out cold ever since he... Yeah, ever since he entered for you. I was actually wrong, though. Cameron's a good guy. I thought he was a villain. It seems Cam expected something like this might happen. Dragonites are pseudo? No, they're not, bruh. Three-stage evil with 600 base. Listen, if there's a three-stage evolution, unless it's very, very specific, I don't count those as legendaries or pseudos. That's bullshit. Dragonites are not fucking legendaries, Hunter. Come on. It seems... Okay, whatever. I read that. When we brought him in, we found these documents on the inside of his jacket. He appears to have been gathering information on Curie and Urania. For quite some time. Urania is such a stupid name. Also included was this letter. 
Oh, let's read this shit. To Kellen and the Rangers of Tandor, you know me as Cameron Kane, engineer, private contractor, and father. Oh, shit. However, this is not the truth about who I am. Oh, shit. My real name is Cameron Stormbringer? I am an agent of Interpol? Eleven years ago, I returned to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. That's what the Adrian Professor was doing, holy shit! In the process of my undercover investigation, I was discovered and the criminal covered their tracks and fled. People died as a result. It has been my single greatest regret after my failure, Interpol released me into an early retirement, but I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. Damn. Dad was a secret agent? Whoa, that's awesome. I was actually completely wrong. Like 180. He was always a reserved sort of guy, just showed up in town one day after the accident with his kid. He never really talked about who he was or where he came from. Holy shit, Cameron Stormbringer? So Cam knew more about the explosion from 10 years ago, the one where Lucille lost her life. Yeah, okay, so Lucille's the fucking curie, bro. Why did he not tell me? There's more to the letter. Oh, here it is. Even though I was retired, I would not rest until these criminals were brought to justice. I knew that proof was still out there, so I became a contractor on the new power plant, Epsilon. Using the construction of the new plant as a cover, I planned to investigate the site of the ruined plant to proof... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be prove. To proof that what happened there was no accident, instead I found something else, something far more sinister. Blueprints and diagrams that detail the creation of an artificial Pokemon, Urani. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to send a report to... Sending a report into Interpol, when the unthinkable happened, a huge detonation shook the island. That was when I knew this was far from over. I narrowly escaped the explosion on the back of Yatagaryu. From high in the sky, that was when I saw them. A lone figure emerged from the wreckage of the ruined plant accompanied by a Pokemon. Bruh, it's literally my mom. I recognized the mask that, I had, that the figure was wearing from the diagrams. I had seen the Curie interface. What? A high-tech device that was made in the labs? Its purpose appears to be some type of mental relay. Oh, that's how she controls it. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon. Urani. A man-made Pokemon built to be a source of unlimited energy. At its full potential, it has the power to split atoms. However, in order to reach that potential, it needs to consume large amounts of nuclear fuel. I mean, so far, this doesn't sound like a bad idea. To facilitate this, it has the ability to sense radioactivity, a Geiger sense. I believe Urania was created on that island and had remained there for years, deep in slumber. It was the arrival of new uranium fuel on the island that sparked this reawakening. What the fuck? But Urani was not alone. This person, I have no idea who they are, they're my mom, or what their goals might be. Honestly, I don't know either. This seems like a good goal. They are in possession of the Curie interface and seem to be Urani's trainer. Additionally, they seem to want to avoid being seen, because they're my mom. They do this by utilizing Urani's teleportation power, Quantum Leap. Every each time they use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. Following these traces, I secretly track them across the region for months. The fact that everybody thought I was dead made it easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how worried Theo must be. Damn, he was right. But they are not pseudos, hun. They are not pseudos. James, that's the one thing about the fan-made games. They don't know how to introduce, like, lore in, like, a really good way. The regular games do it in a good way. This game just does, like, blocks of text, but it's whatever. But much as I care about my son, protecting Tando is more important. Damn, yo, just like Batman. So you just let us all think you were dead? How could you dead? Oh, shut the fuck up. I was devastated. Shut up, bruh. I mean, I know it was because you had secret agent stuff to do. He didn't even know that. You could have at least sent a sign, anything. Yes, losing Cameron was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. Throw the fuck up. But while he was missing, he was secretly tracking Kiri. This information might allow us to finally capture them and put a stop to all of this. At last- oh my god, there's more text. At last, they seem to settle down in the ruins of Power Plant Zeta north of Vinaville. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. 
It's a re it's remote and the radiation keeps intruders away. There is a large stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last them forever. Eventually they will run out and they will be forced to move in search of more fuel. The only remaining statue of uranium is in East Tando, that is where they will move next. I believe it is time for me to make my move. I shall anonymous anonymously alert the rangers before the attack and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. How the fuck does he have the sway to do that? Uh, excuse me. Should Urani get a hold of more fuel, it may be able to reach its fully realized form, a Pokemon with unlimited destructive potential. But why is that bad? I must do whatever it takes to prevent that. The rangers will set up a trap for Urani and Curie at power plant Omicron. But that reminds me of Moon. <laughs> There, they will be forced to reveal themselves. If they manage to escape, they will flee to Power Plant Zeta again. Easy. In that case, I will join with the Rangers and confront them there. I must bring them to justice for mine and everybody's sakes. Cameron Stormbringer. So that's the end of the letter. That was a long-ass letter. It's not all that Cam left us. He seems to have quite a lot of data gathered about Kyrie and Urani files detailing their abilities, weaknesses. He seems fairly fixated on it. Bro, he's Batman. Wait, let me see. What are you talking about? Like, Bulbapedia? What the fuck? Pseudo-legendaries. Pseudo-legendary Pokemon is a fan term. Commonly. So, n this is fan, Hunter. This is not official. I dub pseudos as, like, the shitty ones. Like, Fion. Like, there's a lot of Fions, right? I count Fion as a pseudo. Ugh, excuse me. Because that's what Manaphy shits out. Uh, is a fan term commonly used to refer to any Pokemon that has a street a three stage evolution line. Twelve or a million two hundred fifty thousand experience level one hundred and a base stat total of exactly six hundred. Pseudo legendary Pokemon are often more powerful than any other non legendary Pokemon due to high base stats. So it's just stronger fucking Pokemon. They are mythical, bro. This is literally fan term. Like no, bro, no. I'm not literally wrong, this is just what some people agree on. There are nine Pokemon considered to be pseudo-legendaries. Bruh, this isn't official. How the fuck is Gudra a pseudo-legendary? This is so stupid. What the fuck? This is so dumb. 99% of the community agrees on this. Show me where. Show me how 99% of the community agrees. How do you know that? You have no statistics to prove that. You're just speaking out of your ass. Detailing their abilities, weaknesses, he seems fairly fixated on it. I guarantee you most of the community doesn't even know what pseudo-legendaries even are. Most of the community doesn't even play Pokemon like that. So, again, I think you're speaking out of your ass. You're no stranger to that, though, are you, Kellen? Ooh, ooh, now he's decided to cough. <laughs> That aside, Cameron's information may prove to be invaluable. Of course it is. Included was a tracking signal. Apparently during the battle with Curie and Urania, he managed to attach a small geolocator to them. Yeah, when he got fucking fisted. My rangers are scanning for their frequency now. Easy. And it looks like they found it. Let me guess, it's in the fucking power plant. We traced the tracking signal. It's coming from the west, just like you said. It seems to be originating from deep within the Vinaville hazard zone. So Cam was right. They are inside of Power Plan Zeta. So they're going to give me a suit. Are the hazard suits prepared? Easy? Yo, I'm a god. I'm a god. Ready to deploy, sir. That's good news. This time, the rangers have the advantage. We will track down these criminals and stop them. I wish that I could lead this mission, but huge cock. Easy. Normally, there is an oath and a ceremony, but time is of the essence, so I'll get right to the point. I'm promoting you to full ranger status. I want you to lead this mission in my stead. Let's go. I know that you can do it. You're, you've are you overcome every challenge in your path. You have all the badges now. Damn straight, I might as well be the fucking champion. You've become a strong, brave, independent white girl. I just want you to know I'm so proud of you, huge cock. I couldn't have asked for a better child. Aw, damn. It's almost like my father is saying it to me. But he's dead. I just wish I'd been a better father. I hope that I can make it up to you someday after all this is done. Yo, James, 
No lie, the Ranger games were some of the coolest fucking Pokemon games in the series, bruh. They were so unique and so cool. Like, I think there was only two that I played. I think three came out, but I only played like two of them. They were so fucking good, bruh. The Rangers actually make so much sense. And the fact that they only use them in this game is insane. In this game, they use them as a way to like say like, oh yeah, you know, when, when trainers, yeah, they were for the DS. They were uh, for the DS because you needed the stylus to like draw circles around them. It was a really cool game. But in this game, the way they make sense is like when random trainers go out to, you know, beat the shit out of random wild Pokemon, how do the Pokemon recover from like the thrashing you give them? Like, let's say you catch a Rayquaza and you go to like the wild and you like hyper beam something. That thing's gonna be like, you know, a fucking mess. It's probably gonna die. But what the rangers do is the rangers come in and they like help the Pokemon. It's so fucking cool. So Triple Fion was classified as... Hunter, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Get your head out of your ass real quick, Hunter. Listen to what I'm saying. Because I'm going to repeat it for like the fifth time for you. Because your head's still up your fucking ass. I count pseudos. Because pseudos, apparently, from what you sent me, what you yourself sent me don't have an agreed upon definition from the game creators. So it's literally just certain fans deciding on what this is. I count pseudos as the shitty legendaries. They count pseudos as fucking Pokemon with 600 base stat. Okay, so get your head out your ass. Let me look up Fion. Let me humor you. Fion Pokemon. Okay, let's look on fucking Bulbapenisopedia. Fion is a water type da, 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 is not known to evolve into any other Pokemon. It can only be obtained by breeding Manaphy. It literally comes from a legendary hunter. I would call this a pseudo. There's no such thing as pseudos that's, you know, official. I call this a pseudo because it comes from a legendary. Bruh. Okay, anyway. After all this is done... Oh, what the fuck? Did he just hug me? Or did I kiss him? I'm so happy Dad is alive. I'm never gonna leave him again. But also, I gotta make this Curie person pay for what they did. Notice how they're using they and not she. They're trying to hide it. Kellen, I want to be a ranger too. Of course, Theo. You can get a promotion for this mission. Bruh. Is my dad just promoting everyone? The more strong tra trainers we have, the better chance of taking down Kiri. I'll stay here at HQ and provide backup. We'll monitor your position remotely. Professor, we need you in the laboratory. Of course. We're close to a breakthrough on the cure. I just know it. Bro, they're actually gonna cure radiation. What the fuck? We get to be rangers! Yeah, no we don't. We don't get to be rangers. If we were rangers, we'd have the fucking capture styles. That shit would be so cool. Uh. Uh, oh, excuse me. We get to be rangers, that's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, no, not really. You two have more than proven yourselves. Theo, your actions in standing up to Curie, well, it was foolhardy. Yeah, and it kind of made his dad end. If Theo didn't do that, we might have actually, like, fucked Curie up. But your bravery is admirable. Hey, give it a rest. I just found out dad was alive, and he was in trouble. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to notice who's talking with the lines. I can't notice where the line's going all the time. You saw a mythical Pokemon in the movie? Oh, did you, Dad? Dad, I'll make sure your sacrifice was worthwhile. Imagine he's just dead in that bed right now. And when you finally wake up, I'll be there to tell you that you helped save Tandor. A squad of rangers is waiting at the western dock on Route 7. There you will take the boat across the lake all the way to Route 8, the wheat fields. That area is designated as the hazard zone. You will need protective gear. Fortunately, our researchers have developed the hazard suit, which will protect you from radiation. At the far side of that route is the road leading to the power plant Zeta. The tracking signal is coming from deep, deep, deep inside the plant. You will need to come prepared. We don't know what to expect. I'm going to wipe everyone there. If they're nuclear Pokemon, Sex Offend wipes them. If they're not, Long Shlong wipes them. Easy. Anyway. Is that it? Let me see his dad. Is his dad, like, dead? <laughs> Yo! He's unconscious and does not respond. Damn. Fuck, I want to talk to these people over here. 
I'm a field medic specializing in care of injured rangers. Blissey is my partner from the Almir region. Easy. I must say, as terrifying as Urani is, it's also fascinating to see an undiscovered species of Pokemon. Bro, it's just like Mewtwo. Jeez, he said that Urani could even get more powerful. Yo, I could fuck that thing up. It looks scary, tough already. I don't want to think how much stronger it could get. We'll do anything in our power to prevent its power from going. Our goal should be to neutralize Urani and arrest its trainer, Curie. According to Cameron's notes, if Urania is weakened, it enters a low-powered state. Once we, once we remove its capacity for destruction, we shall decide what to do with it. AKA, give it a meat, bitch. Stupid asses. A Reggie Gigas holding the earth by himself? Oh, shit. Yo, I love Reggie Gigas. I don't know what movie you're talking about, although I... Like, I remember some movies where Regigigas kind of showed up. Oh, wait! No, I remember that one. James, that was, um, Giratina. I'm almost positive that was Giratina. Like, he was holding a giant iceberg, I remember. I remember he was, like, in a random-ass cave, and they woke him up. And it was in the, it was in the movie with Giratina, because they went to the reverse world... And, like, the villain was, like, breaking the ice caps or whatever. I don't know why. They were being stupid. And them breaking the ice, like, pillars in the reverse world was, like, making the glacier, like, move. So Reggie Gigas was just in a cave nearby. He woke up. He's like, do 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 eee! And then he, like, got up off his chair, walked over, and just slammed his gigantic fucking hands on it and held it there. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, yo, yo, Reggie Gigas looks like he's always gonna fuck someone up. That's how I look when I go to work. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm joking, though. When I go to work, I look sad as hell. Experiments on Pokemon and attempt to create artificial life have been outlawed ever since the Mewtwo incident. They said it! They said it! They said it! But that doesn't mean they've stopped. Well, I believe that cir the circumstances of one's birth shouldn't determine one's destiny. Oh, shit, they said the quote! We need to consider our options. If Urania is like other nuclear types and is just a mindless machine of destruction, we may have no choice but to terminate it permanently for the sake of the region, though I can't say I want it to come to that. Yo, I hope I can catch it. Wait a minute, terminate it? You're going to kill it? Sigh. I just said I didn't want to, but something that can create atomic detonations at will is a threat to all life as we know it. It's literally a walking... Re re like repeatable atom bomb oh yeah they sound like me huh the reggie cries sound like me <laughs> Yo, they sound like fucking playboy cardi they don't sound like me i'm a ranger and preserving the life of people and pokemon is my job Urania has attacked and wounded several people including some of my best rangers yeah and his little fucking girl toy in the bed next to him uh excuse me that he's probably fucked and <coughs> And you, too. I suppose so. I trust your judgment as chief, however, as a researcher, I would prefer it if Urani could be left alive. A totally undiscovered Pokémon could be groundbreaking. I'm, it may even have the solution we need to cure afflicted nuclear types. We can only wait and see. Damn, that was a lot of fucking talking. I'm not gonna talk to the rest of these fucks. Fuck this shit. Okay. Oh, wait, is this kid sleeping? I feel you. Okay, wait, no. I need to... I just remembered. I need to go back... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I thought something just happened. We need to go back to, um... The city all the way in east. Because there was the kid who was sleeping. And we, need, we got Fennel over there. So now we have to actually teach Fly to one of our Pokemon. And we can finally fly around. I'm so ready. There it is. It contained fly. Should we teach it to Auntie? I kind of want to teach it to Auntie. Let's teach it to Auntie. I want to fly on Auntie's back. I want Auntie to carry me like a bitch. Am I going to go fight Russia? Man, if they take me, yeah. If there's a draft, I got to go. Honestly, it'll make things a lot simpler. I'm going to be scared as hell, but... It is what it is. Holy shit. Wait, I can't go right? What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Can I not go right? Hello? 
Bro, why won't it let me change re uh, regions? What the fuck? When you hear Reggie Ice, you think of Chris Allen? Reggie Ice is really one of the ones that are like, you know, really crazy sounding. Oh, Chris Allen Jr. Oh, well, I don't think of that. Alright, let's go to Vanessi. Vanessi, 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 Vanessi! That was instant. Alright, where's the kid that's sleeping? <coughs> oh shit, here they are. Hmm, it turns out the human dreams are far more complex than Pokemon dreams. Yeah, I would hope so. I'll need some time to work on my dream world technology before I can get it working right, but when I do, I promise you we'll cure this girl. Easy. <laughs> James is just like, no, I didn't watch it. The scientist seems like she knows what she's doing. I hope she can help our girl. A note on that. If you look like you know what you're doing, even if you have no idea, people will trust you. Confidence goes a long fucking way, which is something I don't have. I'd sacrifice anything to see my daughter's eyes open again. Get on your knees. Boosha. This thing looks like a giant fucking testicle. Okay, well, that was a big waste of fucking time. So, my next question is, aside from the legendaries that, um... What the fuck is this guy saying? Here we go. Aside from the new legendaries in this game, I wonder if there's any other legendaries from the other regions. I hope there is. I'm having a feeling that Darkrai is gonna be there, because of that girl. I feel like Darkrai might be there. Hopefully Arceus is here, although I doubt that. Like, hopefully Darkrai is here. I really wish Darkrai would be here. He's such a cool Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Let's use the Super Repels. Easy. And let's keep her going. So, I believe we can put back Longshlong again. Just because I don't think we're going to face immediate radiation Pokemon next, but I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Let's see. Oh shit, there they are. Finally, huge cock. Good. Now I think everyone's here. Ready to go, huge cock? We're going into the hazard zone. It's gonna be pretty dangerous. Plus, it'll be swarming with nuclear Pokemon. But I'm not afraid. I can handle a few nuclears, no problem. So how about you all set? Yes, sir. About time, let's do this. Get on the boat, all of you. I'll explain the mission on the way over. Man, this boat is huge. What the fuck? <coughs> Wait, my dad came on the boat with us? Holy shit. This is Kellen to Hazard Team 1. Do you copy? Loud and clear, sir. We're en route to the hazard zone right now. A huge cock and Theo there with you. Oh, maybe he's still in the hospital bed, actually. <laughs> Why does Reggie Ice sound like he's on crack? Oh my god. Yo. Reggie Rocket. Okay, hold on. I gotta hear this shit now. Hold on. Let me hear this. What are you fucking talking about? Where is this shit? Hunter, where's the stupid fucking video? They sound kinda scary. I'll be the judge of that. Let's hear this. Until I clicked on this and it sent me to Shukaku Gara 2089. Oh, that's because I clicked on the name. My bad. <laughs> Yo, this shit was crazy. <laughs> Dude, Reggie Rock sounds like a fucking like deep voiced like huge guy. That does not sound like me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> A Reggie Ro Bro, Reggie Ice doesn't sound like he's on crack. He sounds like he's on, like... I don't even know. It sounds like he's, like, slowing down. Why does Reggie Rock toss the car? Yo, because he's pissed. Go, 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 go. What the fuck? It's like... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to show it because that would be, like, a lot of fucking work for this small video. But... Yo, cause he's fucking- he's a rock! You think it's fun being a rock? But right here, I'm gonna play it again. Listen to this sound. It's like codes are being inputted into him and like someone's coding him to like tweak out on people. 
Go, go, go. Yo, Ash just hit his fucking Reggie chin. Ice. Bro, Reggie I sound so crazy. Reggie still sounds the shittiest. What the fuck? Go, go, go. Bro, the Reggies are so crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, let me see the other stupid one. What's that? Oh my god, that's copyrighted. I can't play that. I cannot play that. Sorry, hun. Ash sounds like a girl. I think Ash is voiced by a girl. Yeah, huge cock and me are. I mean, yes, sir. Just thinking it says huge cock is so funny. Good, you will need to equip yourselves for this mission in the boat storage case you'll find packs of Pokeballs. Why the fuck do we need Pokeballs? These are a new experimental type of ball that our researchers have developed. They should work especially well on nuclear Pokemon. Easy. I put my nuclear ball sacks in my pocket. Now there's one more piece of technology that you will need. The crowning jewel of all our research. The hazard suit. Oh shit. That looks like the fucking Mewtwo suit. As you can see, this is just a prototype right now. There's only one functional suit. The rest of you on the mission will be equipped with gas masks and radiation shielding clothing. But the hazard suit is something special. We based it on blueprints developed in the Hoenn region. It will completely shield your body from the radioactive fallout. It contains an air filtration system. And they even allow you to breathe underwater? What the fuck? Also, they include a built-in communicator and geolocator, which will let us tr let us at HQ track you and communicate at any time. What the fuck? Yo, I want to ditch that. Actually, not. Theo's cool now, James. He grew up. He, he, he grew up. He's a good boy now. He's not bad now. <clears throat> I like how the text box is, like, pointing at the little box on the wall. Huge cock, I want you to wear it. it. I would have worn it myself, but circumstances being what they are, I trust that you will make good use of it. Damn straight I will. Aw, I wanted to wear the suit, but I know why he picked you. Yeah, because I'm fucking better. You're the better trainer, easy. Excuse me. I made the both of you honorary rangers for a reason, huge cock. I don't doubt you'll make me proud. Easy. Now everyone, your mission, infiltrate the power plant and find where Kiri is hiding, subdue them, and separate them from the legendary so that they can both be brought into custody. This is real. The fate of the region is at stake. Damn, this was like 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Your tenders... <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me take a fucking drink break. My throat is like getting fucked right now. Ah. Uh, ugh. Alright. Your Tando's best and brightest. We're all counting on you. Good luck out there. Over and out. <clears throat> what the fuck? Can I move now? Easy. Okay, so I can't even talk to Theo anymore. Holy shit. We're headed to Route 8, the wheat fields. It used to be a pristine area of natural beauty. Yeah, that's where I got fucking Miss Magius. Now it's the most irritated place in Tandor. We gotta stop Kieran and make them pay. Yeah, and then the big reveal. Huge cock, you gotta put on the suit. Yeah, I know, Theo. Shut the fuck up. I know it's not my position to complain, but how come I don't get to wear the suit? Shut the fuck up. Nah, I'm only messing with you. I can speak just fine through this still. It's getting kind of itchy. It would be a bad idea to take it off, though. Huge cock, don't worry about us. We've got these new capture stylers that work on nuclear Pokemon. Wow. So we'll be able to hold our own until then, I think. Hey, yo. Let's equip the hazard suit! Bro, I look like a fucking fat so what the hell? I can't run anymore, what the fuck? Man, that hazard suit is freaking sweet, but the gas masks are cool too, I guess. <laughs> you loser. Anyway, we can't afford to waste time. Let's go! Let's fuck! Oh my god. Whoa, the air is thick here. I don't think we could breathe without these masks. This is Kellen Hugecock, do you copy? We hear you, boss. We've entered the hazard zone. Alright, your target is the power plant to the northwest. You should start making your way there. Be on your guard. It's likely you will be attacked by nuclear Pokemon. My rangers will flank 
you to keep you safe. Got it, yo. I don't need fucking shit. I can handle everyone. Huchcock, let's hurry to the entrance of the power plant. I'm gonna get there first. Watch me have to save his ass again just like his shithead father. I don't think I'll be much use without a Pokemon of my own, so I'll provide first aid. Yeah, sure. Kill my Pokemon, bitch. Okay. So, similar to last episode, I'm actually gonna be ending it here because it's around 11 o'clock. And I wanna get a decent night's sleep for, you know, one day at least. And I think this is a good point to stop. I don't want to go further until I'm like, I have a lot of time, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So let's save here. There we go. Now we can play League. I'm not playing League, bro. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. What's up? Uh, oh my God. I don't even know how to say your name. YVSPU. What's going on? What's going on, YV? You're here at the bare ass end of the stream when I'm about to get off. But if there's any other outstanding questions before I get off, I will answer them. Let me end out Pokemon here. Let's let's chill with the Minecraft music for a bit. Eh. There we go. There's the Minecraft music. Uh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. But anyway. Man, things are getting crazy, man. Things are getting crazy in the world. Russia is going to start World War III, which I think is a ploy from China and Russia to just team up and gang everyone and then take over everything or kill us all. Who knows? But it's not looking good. But anything that gets me out of work, I guess, right? And if anything, if I go to the army from the draft... Yeah, I know they're already fighting. It's, it's fucking crazy. I was hearing about it live from my coworkers because they were, like, keeping up with it at work. And they were telling me, like, live what was happening. I was like, damn, that shit sounds scary. But the good part is, if I end up going to war and I live from, like, the draft, if there is one, I'm probably going to be set for life with, like, you know, veteran benefits and stuff. Uh, I hope I don't... Well, I hope I do die, but... I hope it's, like, a quick death. It's going to be scary, though. I would not want to go to boot camp. That's my only fear. I don't mind being in the army. I just don't want to be in boot camp. Because I don't want to get yelled at. But anyway... With that being said, I don't see any outstanding questions, so we're going to end it here. I hope everyone has a great night. I hope I don't wake up tomorrow. I hope I don't go to work, but I'm always wrong, and I wake up and I go to work anyway. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you all enjoyed.